I had been, th I had been for a couple of years, I had wished that I had written Tony, uh, for years I had wanted to write Tony a letter about what he meant to me, and I never had. And um, that night I did, I started a, a draft of a letter. And, uh, and that's what I read at the funeral, and, made, and then I had some notes to work. I didn't finish the letter, but it was a, addressing it to him. So you want me to? Yeah, I'd like to hear it. So um, this is the, the, rough, the rough draft that I had that day, and I pulled it out of the file. Um, <sighs> Dear Tony, I have let too many years slip by without writing this letter to you. I cannot believe it has been 28 years since we first met. So much has been said and written about your unique artistry and talent, about your brilliance, kindness, and generosity. I cannot hope to match the words so eloquently expressed to you by former students who were perhaps far more devoted to their studies than I. But I am compelled to somehow let you know of some things far greater than specific techniques and tricks that I have learned from you. For many years, I felt like I had somehow failed to really learn all your lessons. I often felt the futility of trying to learn your magic the way you do it. I struggled with you to uncover the principles underlying your magic and utilize them to uncover my own unique style. No one will ever do your magic as well as you did. No one will ever again persuade people that two halves of a lit cigarette really did to go together without any trickery. But about a year ago, I realized the extent to which you taught me an attitude and a style for performing that is at the core of not only my magic, but my personality. I realized that the thing I adored about your magic was not the revolve vanish or the imp pass, but was your belief in what you were doing. Your presence and persona were magical. Even your friends and relatives who never studied magic and only sometimes saw you perform felt the magicalness of your presence and the power of your love. What transformed the performance of your magic from the demonstration of tricks into the experience of real magic in a way that has never been done before was your ability to transport yourself and your audience into a state of mystical rapture I know you would scoff at the notion that you provide people with anything approaching a religious experience, but I believe that is what you did. And by giving others the experience of the eternal, you have guaranteed yourself a place in eternity. <laughs>